Hey everyone, Tula here with Key Wellness, and today I'm going to talk about the power of your mind. What if I told you that by mere thinking or having an emotion, you could impact the physical world around you? What I'm about to demonstrate are some experiments done by American, Soviet, and Japanese scientists proving that the human psyche, your thoughts, and your emotions can impact the physical world. Some mistakes or anomalies that happened in the laboratory gave scientists rise to wonder if human thoughts and emotions could impact water. Water that that person did not even physically contact or touch it's not anything that they put in the water it's simply the energy around a person and in future talks I'll get into your energy field but how that energy field will affect the physical world around us and tapping into this after a number of studies they found out that what people think and what people feel will change the physical properties of water. So these scientists in Japan, in the Soviet Union, in America, put water in containers and all they did was have people surround the water and think thoughts. And they asked them to think lovely, positive thoughts of love and care and compassion. And what they found is that water, when exposed to positive human emotion, will form beautiful, perfect, symmetrical, well-developed crystals, which is what water is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be a crystal due to its chemical uh, composition. But then they took water and they exposed it to negative thoughts. People were made to just stand around it and think angry thoughts. And they found that this distorted the water and it did not even allow the water molecule to form into a crystal. They later on went on to discover that this type of negative impact on water's formation could be impacted by music. You would get beautiful crystals with lovely classic and any kind of nice flowing music. But when you exposed water to something harsh and glaring and angry sounding, once again, the water was unable to form the natural crystalline formations that it's supposed to be found in. This is also true when you expose water to televisions and cell phones and uh, computers and microwaves. But what really made an impact on the scientists was the ability of the human mind and the human heart to impact the quality of the physical world around those people because later studies will show that this ability of your mind to change the physical world around you is not limited to just water and so then they began to study and they looked at ancient practices and they went all the way back to the practices of the Egyptians and the Hebrews, Jesus Christ and the Christian Church, and the ancient Asian practices. And what they found is over and over again, there had always been some practice of blessing water. It's as if the ancients knew way back then what somehow between then and now we have forgotten. And that is that the human mind has the capacity to impact the physical world around it. I will be offering a number of workshops showing how the human mind affects not just water, but the people and the things and the situations around us and even your very quality of life and your fate, what you want your life to be like. And in our workshops and in everything we do at Key Wellness, we tap into your amazing ability to orchestrate your own life, to be the captain of your own ship, and live your most optimum life ever.